from the TMBC Network. Welcome to Bad Audiobooks, a parody brought to you by our nicely tanned supporters on Patreon. That's a lie. You're all pasty white like this. That's and then that's okay. I'm Nick Masmanian, along with my co-host Ken Heidelman. Thank you so much for listening to our show about good books read badly. So what is coming off the shelf today? Probably could make that a little bit smoother, but you know, I wanted to get my uh, DJing on. Hi, welcome to Bad Audio Books. I am Nick Masmanian, and this is a podcast about reading good books badly. Joining me today is uh, Kent Heidelman. Oh, hello again, Kent. It's hello. Been, it's been a whole couple seconds since we last spoke on microphone. Ah, uh, yes. And what good times it's been since then. That time I drank water. Mm, the time I, I flipped through my phone. Yeah, and the other time I decided to think about whether or not I need to do my taxes still. Point is, we're all here today to listen to some classical literature. And today we are reading out of the grim fairy tales Cinderella. You may have heard it. It's a small title. Um, I, I No don't... name. Yeah, yeah, what? It's a no name. It's a no name? Yeah, no you, one knows that one. You know, oh, okay. Are you afraid we're not going to get the... Uh, the listens to on this episode because of that reason yeah people are just gonna too glance, obscure glance over it's too did obscure. we go too oh, okay yeah we're way too deep well you know i'm a kind of a hipster in that way i like to make sure that uh you know it's under wraps under cover under unknown i don't know that, that that didn't go anywhere so let's just ignore that it even happened and on to cinderella this time though hipster cinderella oh shit <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be dropping name of your band name of your mixtape Ooh. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Anyway. Let us begin. The wife of a rich man fell sick. And as she felt that... At, ugh, I'm <laughs> no. after a great start. You're and, good. You're and good. Uh, as she felt that her end was drawing near... This is getting more... We're really... It's the first sentence and I'm not even... Do you want to switch back? No, no, no. I meant more just like she's... Uh, death is coming. <laughs> Oh she's, man, she's she she, she gonna die. She's dying in the first sentence. It, 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 it's like I got a sliver in my finger. I'm a dying. So anyway, and as she felt that her end was drawing near, she called her only daughter to her bedside and said, "Dear child, be good and pious, and then the good God will always protect thee. I will look down on thee from heaven and be near thee." Thereupon she closed her eyes. And died. She died. She departed. She departed. That's what the line says, but I'm I'm badly reading it. <laughs> Every day the maiden went out to her mother's grave and wept, and she remained pious <laughs> and good. When winter came, the snow spread a white sheet over the grave, and when the spring sun had drawn it off again, the man had taken another wife. Well, I mean, that happened fast, I guess. No? That, that's a season. You know what's thing? It's it, it, three months. <laughs> Oh, well, you tops. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's you, you could die tomorrow back then. So let's not judge. Let's not I already judge. had like two or three lined up right in the in the chamber. All right. Your next wife. <laughs> OK. The woman had brought two daughters into the house with her who were beautiful and fair of face, but vile and black of heart. <laughs> now began a bad time for the poor stepchild. Is the stupid goose to sit in the parlor with us? Said they. He who wants to eat bread must earn it, and out the kit with the kitchen wench. That was my line. Mm, there's two of them. No. Oh, that's true. You're right. You're completely right. Okay. I was trying to mix it up. No, that's nice. That's good. I like it. Go ahead. I missed. I'm. I lost my place. Uh. You took my life, me. <laughs> They took her pretty clothes away from her. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Put an old gray bedgown on her and gave her wooden shoes. Well, you know, they are green and wooden recyclable. Wooden shoes? That's fucked up. That just means she's just invented toms. That's all. Yeah, okay, that makes me feel better. I was imagining a wooden arch. And that just she get, they gave a second pair of wooden shoes to another child in the village. I guess this story is about footwear, so we should be... A... <laughs> For all the sneakerheads out there <laughs> listening to this podcast... <laughs> Just, Just look at the proud princess. How decked out she is. They oh, go, oh, man. We're, I, I did narrating last time, so I'm like, I'm, I'm messing. They up. cried and oh, <clears throat> they cried and <laughs> laughed and led her into the kitchen. There she had to do hard work from morning till night. Get up before daybreak, carry water, light fires, cook and wash. Besides this, the sisters did her every imaginable injury. They mocked her and emptied her peas and lentils into the ashes so that she was forced to sit and pick them out again. 
In the evening, when she had worked till she was weary, she had no bed to go to, but had to sleep by the fireside in the ashes. And as on the account she always looked dusty and dirty, they called her Cinderella! Cut to titles. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a Tarantino. Um, <laughs> big, bold letters. Neil, drop onto a record. Cut the titles. <laughs> it happened that the father was once going to the fair, and he asked his two stepdaughters what he should bring back for them. Beautiful dresses, said one. Pearls and jewels, said the second. And thou, Cin- Oh, and that's him. And thou, Cinderella, said he. What wilt thou have? Father, break off for me the first branch which knocks against your hat on your way home. Yep. <laughs> so he bought her beautiful dresses. Oh, so he bought beautiful dresses, pearls and jewels for his two stepdaughters. And on his way home, as he was riding through a green thicket, a hazel twig brushed against him and knocked off his hat. Then he broke off the branch and took it with him. It's really that straightforward. <laughs> no twists. He he is like, I'm going to give her exactly what she asked for. And not read into the weird differences between <laughs> the gifts. <laughs> Buy me things. Give me something from nature, father. <laughs> give me a stick. Jewels. Jewels. <laughs> All the beautiful things. The first stick you gaze upon. <laughs> when he reached home, he gave his stepdaughters the things which they had wished for. And to Cinderella, he gave the branch from the hazel bush. And gave no shits either way. <laughs> Cinderella thanked him and went to My actual grave. daughter will be giving garbage. <laughs> and I'm okay with this. Here's some rubbish, dear. You are obviously look very happy and content. And I have no say in how horrible your life is. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to go fade away inside the uh, uh, analogs of this story. And, and your life is ruined. <laughs> It's so much better when the Disney version cut. Made, he's gone. He's dead. He's yeah. dead. Gone. It she just, just got a, an evil stepmother. It makes a lot more sense. I, it cleans it up. He I, honestly, he's the villain of the story. Yeah, he really is. He could have stopped all this, and yet it's he didn't. it's it's uh what's it? It's more evil to sit by and witness things and yeah. let it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because uh, you're you're ignoring the need. Yeah, yeah. Uh, more commentary on social issues. Come yeah. back as we talk about gun control. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, PPR. Was it PBR? No, it's, it's NPR. P- P- PBR. PBR. Ooh, we know where my mind is. <laughs> Welcome back to PBR Radio. Drink We're broadcasting you- out of Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> Time to drink your woes away because of all these. I hope you enjoy the stories. LA River Rotter because that's actually where we're at now. But we didn't change the label. Anyway, so come back to uh, the story. Cinderella thanked him, went to her mother's grave, and planted the branch on it. Oh, and my God. <laughs> wept so much, because that's how plants work. I, I was about to say. <laughs> okay, so she's stupid, too? <laughs> <laughs> well, she got her education with uh, cinders and ashes. I know. I feel read. badly for this poor girl. Anyway, she continue. how nature works. I know. <laughs> and wept so much that the tears fell down on it. And watered it. Again, salt water. Hang on. Hang on. Not something you want to water plants with. No, no, but continue with the statement. It grew, however, and became a handsome tree. Apparently the writer of the story did not understand how trees work. Yep. That's uh, certainly not how that happened. I know not of anything in Europe that you could break a branch off of and stick in the ground and it will grow. And water with salt water. I mean, I could I could be ill illfully ignorant toward that whole idea but i doubt it is a hazel bush i wrote this whole cinderella story so that you would get where the plants this is a a lesson on maintaining agriculture symbolism anyway thrice a day cinderella went and sat beneath it and wept and prayed what i thought she has a bunch of tasks and work to do she how does she have time to do this she this is her this is her off time dude she goes and weeps by her mother's grave i'm gonna gonna take my 10 Uh, i'm gonna go weep at my mother's grave three times a day weeping (laughs) meanwhile the dad standing at the window with a cup of coffee going oh god damn it she's gonna go out and weep by the tree again no he's more like and everything was right in the world (laughs) that's what he's thinking he's just watching her cry in her mother's grave he's like Yep. Uh, that must be lunchtime. Yep. Are you just drinking his uh, number one dad mug? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. I like okay, that. Okay. Um, <laughs> number one dad, Cinderella dad. <laughs> uh, thrice a day, Cinderella went and be- wept beneath yeah. it. Well, uh, went and sat beneath it and wept and prayed. Okay. And a little white bird always came on the tree. And if Cinderella expressed a wish, 
The bird threw down to her what she had wished for. <laughs> what is the bird doing? I wish for a million dollars. He just makes his wings and he's just making it rain upon her. Where did he get it from? <laughs> Oh, he's regurgitating. That's that's the only way. Okay. It happened, however, that the king appointed a festival, which was to last three days, and to which all the beautiful young girls in the country were invited, in order that his son might choose himself a bride. He is inbred as shit, by the way. This is a Prussian king. I've made it. Well, it's interesting that he's not pressuring him to marry, like, a political uh, alliance kind of thing. <laughs> I'm just like, ah, oh, whichever one you want, said no king ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are of royal blood. But go ahead and insert any blood from any of these commoners. <laughs> when the two stepsisters heard that they too were to appear among the number, they were delighted and called Cinderella and said, Come, I have for us, brush our shoes and fasten our buckles, for we are going to the festival at the king's palace. We ride, bitches! That's not in the book. Cinderella. Oh, oh that, I think that they uh, they they weren't going to get that. So I'm that was implied. That was it implied that we ride bitches? Mm, yeah, no. I I think that it's it, it makes sense from uh, five hundred year old stories. Yeah. Uh, Cinderella obeyed, but wept. <laughs> She's always crying <laughs> because she too would have liked to go with them to dance, and begs her stepmother to allow her to do so. Thou go, Cinderella," She's... said she. "Thou art dusty and dirty." And wouldst, wouldst go to the festival? Thou hast no clothes and shoes, and yet would dance? As, however, Cinderella went on asking, the stepmother at last said, I have emptied a dish of lentils into the ashes for thee. <laughs> if thou hast picked them out again in two hours, that shall go with us. The maiden went through the back door into the garden and called, you tame pigeons, your turtle. Do- I think I've changed this voice like at least three times. I've done the turtle- Rumpel Silskin voice for the stepmom. Oh yeah, well, he's getting you. some some more. Screen <laughs> he's getting more play. <laughs> he's getting more screen time. Your turtle doves and all you birds beneath the sky, come and help me to pick the good into the pot, the bad into the crop. Then two white pigeons Jeez, came she's in by the kitchen. Literally a Disney window. princess before it was even a thing. She's like the Home Alone homeless lady. You th- <laughs> homo too, homo too. You think it's something glamorous? No, 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 no. She's covered in shit and smells absolutely horrid. <laughs> With a heart of gold, I'm, I think heart I'm per- of gold, perfect. Uh-huh. Uh, that's what she would become if uh, in fate, modern day, if fate didn't uh, intervene. Oh yeah, 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 I hear that. I need uh, to get closer to the microphone. I apologize for the audio quality. Continue. <laughs> Oh, come then on. Then two white pigeons came in by the kitchen window, and afterwards the turtle doves, and at last all the birds beneath the sky came whirring and crowding in and al- alighted amongst the ashes. And the pigeons nodded with their heads and began to pick, 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 and the rest also, be- also began also pick, 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 <laughs> pick, and gathered all the good grains into the dish. Hardly had one hour passed before they had finished. Oh, they're and cleaning flew out again. They're cleaning the. They're getting the lentils and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. They're That's uh, that. Okay, it clarifies it a bit. I thought they were literally dressing her and they were like pecking at her. It Better was flesh. Into a, yeah, it was turning into the <laughs> birds. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I was like, why is she not screaming? Ah! <laughs> I'm so pretty. This is uh, the Alfred Hitchcock. Version. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, then the girl took the dish to her stepmother. <laughs> And was glad, and believed that now she would be allowed to go with them to the festival. But the stepmother said, No, Cinderella, thou hast no clothes, and thou canst not dance. Thou would only be laughed at. <laughs> and as Cinderella wept at oh my this, gosh, the so stepmother scary. said, If thou canst pick two dishes of lentils out of the ashes for me in one hour, thou shalt go with us. What? And she thought to herself, that she must certainly cannot do. What? Uh, just what the hell? Like, this is this filler. Is, this is filler. It is filler. That's this what I'm is, talking this about. This is the writer going, I need to add more pages because they won't publish it without it. So I'm going to just, hey, you're doing it again. There it, we go. Th- this is a common thing. Maybe it was just easier to remember because they had to do it more than once. I don't when know. you're telling the story because they didn't know how to read. <laughs> you're oh, like, yeah, oh, that's the uh, other thing. Uh, more lentils again. And... Lentils one more time! <laughs> Look how bad all this is! He has to pick out the lentils! It's terrible! When the stepmother had emptied the two dishes of lentils amongst the ashes, the maiden went through the back door into the garden and cried. Is this the same song? It's the same song. You yeah. take. I have to sing it. 
You tame pigeons, you turtle doves, and you birds beneath the sky, come and help me to pick the good into the pot, the bad into the crop. Then two white pigeons came in. Meanwhile, by the, the dad's upstairs window, going, and today's a good the day. the turtle doves, and at the length, all the, all the, beneath, the birds beneath the sky came whirring and crowding in and alighted among the ashes. <clears throat> and, oh, my God. And the doves nodded Holy with their heads crap. and began pick, 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 and the others, they also pick, 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 and gathered all the good seeds of the dishes, and before half an hour was over, they had already finished, and they all flew out again. Okay. Then the maiden carried the dishes to the stepmother and was oh delighted God. and believed that she might now go with them to the festival. This is literally like copy-paste. Yeah, the, the 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 this is straight filler. There's no reason. I can't imagine that there's some kind of cultural thing here with the whole doing it twice again with the lentils thing, other than just being a giant dick. But it doesn't make any sense to have that. Just say it, she did it again. But of course, this is you know a long time ago. So they're like, I have nothing else better to do. I will write the same thing again because otherwise uh, I have to go out and I don't know toil the fields because I'm a writer. Can you imagine being the guy that has to work the printing press? Back in the day, oh and my it's God. just like oh, and he only has so many like of this italicized text and stuff like that. Well, and, I know he has to like re- like. Do you think he's smart enough to see that the story repeats itself? So then just grabs that block that he already did and hit it. I you would think maybe so. that's what he's just like. I that, know how to I know how to add a page count. <laughs> well, this story, sir, <laughs> it has two extra pages, <gasps> and he's just copy pasting, copy pasting to the, the add original to his page control count. B, control C, control C, control V, control C, control V. Yeah, five hundred years ago. <laughs> he either is an idiot and didn't notice and did his work twice, or he's an asshole and did his work twice so that he could up the page count to charge more money. There you go. Either or genius. W- you could say he's a genius for doing mm, that, too. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Then the maiden believed that she might go with him to the festival, but the stepmother said, All this will not help thee! Thou goest not with us, for thou hast no clothes and canst not dance, which should be ashamed of thee! I said that correctly. Yes, you did. On this, she turned her back on Cinderella and hurried away with her two proud daughters. Why are they proud? I don't know. As no one was home now. Oh, no, uh, whatever. Cinderella went to her mother's grave beneath the hazel tree and cried. Shiver and quiver, little trees, shiver. Silver and gold, throw down over me. Make it rain. Then the bird threw a gold and silver dress down to her. Oh my god, this bird is... I literally read that. (laughs) How did this bird carry this dress? And slippers embroidered with silk and silver. This is like Dark Souls level of bird. That bird must be huge. It has to be massive. It's a dire bird. (laughs) She put on the dress with with all speed and went to the festival. Oh my god. That's not how you put on a dress. Uh, her stepsisters and the stepmother, however, did not know her, and th- thought she must be a foreign princess, for she looked so beautiful in the golden dress. I just imagine the dress. It. She didn't mention yeah. how she cleaned off. Yeah, I was about to say, I just imagined the dress being gorgeous, and then her face just caked in dust and stuff still. <laughs> like like she had been like in like a classic cartoon in like Smoke Filled the Room, and she just got rings for the eyes, and her face is just covered in black and soot and stuff. That is the real version of this. <laughs> Uh, she's just like i i'm here i'm not cinderella i am <laughs> you've never you've never met me before i am jane <coughs> i'm J- <coughs> jane <laughs> sorry i work by the ashes all day <laughs> of my castle of, of my far off castle <laughs> nowhere near here <laughs> no no i oh who are you okay um For she looked so beautiful in the golden dress. They never once thought of Cinderella and believed that she was sitting at home in the dirt picking lentils out of the ashes. She did that already. She already did it. She did that already. She already already did it twice! How lazy is this writer, (laughs) printer, who was like, you know what? I'm not even going to update that text. Forget it. We ran it. We did the run. We're Uh, done. I'm not doing it again. Should have edited that. Yeah, fuck it. It was probably, yeah. uh, I got a feeling it was that. They ran the the editions, and then they noticed that, and they're like, eh, forget it. I'm just not even going to address it. it. I don't even know if they read it. The, the, The shrug of fuck it just being done. The prince went to meet her, took her by the hand, and danced with her. There's that. That whole sentence is like, 
You look so gorgeous tonight in your makeup. They didn't even go there. They didn't even have him think about it. No, he no, just no. Does it? He. It's because she looked. Notice her. It's There's because, no anticipation of like who is that. It's because she was the most outstanding lady in the entire audience. Not only did her gold dress pick up, but then the contrast of the dust and soot on her face and hair. The hair that's all you know mm. twinged and with flyaways and stuff is just. He's like, my God, I have to have that. You're smoking hot with all that smoke soot on you. <laughs> Literally, you're smoking. <laughs> Your dress is on fire. Literally. Someone put that out. Put it out. Don't. No, wait, no. Um, he doesn't feel like he has any uh, agency either. Uh, he would but dance. he's a man, so this is like a rarity. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, rare did this happen? The man's being told what to do by the narrator and nobody else. <laughs> he would dance with no other maiden and never left loose of her hand. Which now he's getting controlling. I know. And if anyone else came to invite her, he said, this is my partner. Well, (laughs) there that went. (laughs) You. Hang on. Hang on. It took one more sentence for him to find all the agency and someone else's. (laughs) Hang on. on. (laughs) This This is my my partner. There you go. Sorry. I'm doing your line. Uh, That's great. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's just like, it's just like, this is my partner. She's mine. (laughs) She danced till it was evening, and then she wanted to go home. Uh oh. But the king's son said, I will go with thee and bear thee company. For she wished to see who, uh, for, for he wished to see whom the beautiful maiden belonged. What? He's like stalking her. Who owns you? <laughs> <laughs> who could I buy you from? How much hay? How much hay can I give? <laughs> I know a guy who's got hay. I've that got unspun hay. I've got unspun hay ready to sell. <laughs> It's unrefined. <laughs> you know, I'm ahead of the market. I'm the one who sees that this is not worthless. It's lightweight gold ready for transport. I'm going to put it on Alibaba and it'll sell out. She escaped from him. Oh, my God. <laughs> However, and sprang into the pigeon house. What? what? The ki- Okay. Uh, the uh, king's son waited until her father came. What? Uh, and then... Wait. The dad shows up? She... D- he knows who it is? The dad just rolls in. And he's just, The dad is just... <laughs> I thought the whole point of the story was he doesn't know who. All right, all right. Let's wait, he's let's an wait. NPC. He's just like rolling through off track. He's like, I am untethered. I will be over here. <laughs> he's just ready to go. He's in every bush, ready to pop out for any narration that needs to happen. Uh, then he told him that this... Okay, the father came. And then he told him that the strange... That the stranger maiden... Mm-hmm. Had leapt into the pigeon house. The is the, I, I'm the old man. I'm assuming because I'm the, the dad. old man. Thought, can it be? Cin- can it be Cinderella? And they had to bring an axe. What? And a pickaxe. What? That he might hew the p- pigeon house to pieces. What? But no one was inside. Who's the last unpack of this, this paragraph? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So they forcibly move, get into the place that she's hiding. Because she escaped the man who's like, who owns you? And then I think he chased her and then she turns to, to the father's property. Okay, that makes more sense. But, but it doesn't make sense that he's like, some strange woman is in my tool shed. Tear it apart! <laughs> Burn it to the ground! <laughs> <laughs> and then and then and then she turns into David Copperfield. Yeah. It just it just vanishes. <laughs> he's, I, I love that he's like, I have no idea who that was. Let me get my... Sh- Maybe it's my daughter I don't care too much about for my wife who died. Oh, yeah, who's yeah, actually my yeah, daughter, like- unlike the two stepsisters who I have no blood relations with. I mean, he is he is stepdad of the year. Oh, dude. Number, this is- uh, old's number one stepdad. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's the mug there that go. he's working from. <laughs> the other one broke, and he made the Cinderella <laughs> clean it up, and he just kept <laughs> sipping out of the other one. He got a backup. Uh, let's see here. Uh, but no one was inside it. And when they got home... Oh, they weren't home. So they were just at so the king's. The this old... is on the king's property, and the and the and the dad just rolls in. It's just like, oh sure, let me help you break up. Your I guess pigeon. He was coat? there at the festival too, but they never really mention. They don't. That's the thing. It's not ste- like we're not paying attention to what you're what yeah, you're all right, saying. Jumping back, her stepsisters and the stepmother, however, did not, uh, and they and <coughs> and went to the festival. Pardon me. I, looking back, I it, I don't know if the dad went. I guess we're so used to the Disney version that. I guess they implied that he was there. It's kind of hard to segregate the, yeah, the, that's, or separate the two. It's very fact. strange. Yeah. Um, anyway. Okay, let's see here. 
And when they got home, Cinderella lay in her dirty clothes among the ashes, and a dim little oil lamp was burning on the mantelpiece. <laughs> for Cinderella had jumped quickly down from the bed. I don't need to know. I get it. She back got of the home. Pigeon house and All right. From ahead. C- <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. For Cinderella had jumped quickly down from the back of the pigeon house and had run to the little hazel tree. And there she had taken off her beautiful clothes and laid them on the grave. And the bird had taken them away again. And then she had placed what? herself in the kitchen amongst the ashes in her gray gown. All right. I, hold up. It's hold implied up. that she did all those things. And and not only that, um, I, she is the most emo kid in the world. I mean, her life is shit. Don't get me wrong. Her mom's dead. No one cares about her, especially her dad, who apparently still loves her. I don't know. But then she's just like laying in ashes. I just imagine you're laying face down in the ashes. It's just like, woo! Her tears are, are wetting the, the ash around her eyes. And she's just like rolling around streaking. in it. She's like, oh, that, that's, I am that's, so that's super sad. emo. This, the streaking of yeah. the soot. Yeah. Oh, she's she, goth as fuck. Oh, no. Not only is she goth as fuck, but then she's also the cover of My Chemical Romance uh, Ooh, albums and stuff nice, like that. Nice, See? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it around. You think she would try Early to sell 2000s. her gown for money? No, 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 no. The bird, it, it's, getting, it's getting sent off to dry cleaning. Oh, it's, she's got to clean it first before a, she can sell it. There's a lease. It's, it. it's a rental. It's a rental? Yeah. Oh. Uh, next day, when the festival began afresh, this is a multi-day festival. Oh my god, <sighs> guys! And her parents and stepsisters so sorry. are gone this once story more. Is just keeps going. Cinderella went to the hazel tree and said, "Shiver and quiver, little trees, silver and gold, throw down over me." Copy paste. Then the bird threw down a much more beautiful dress. Oh, she got the upgrade. She Hang on. Hang on. Package. Hang on. We're doing this wrong. She's the original superhero. That's her, like, saying to get, like, her armor and stuff. Oh. The bird is Q branch for James Bond equivalency there. Sure. It's like, keep spinning her up new dresses and stuff. It's like, this one, if you pre- double press the sleeve, you get jetpacks and you can fly away. <laughs> she wouldn't fly away. She no. would just go right back to those, those I mean, that ash, laugh. that fireplace. Because she's, she's addicted to pain and suffering. Uh, okay. Um, she could also run a really good business of selling dresses. Yeah, you know, just just go under the tree and say those words and just keep getting a new dress and just boop cash boop cash. Birds of a feather would be the name of her shop. Oh, ooh. Anyway, so she got more, much more beautiful dress than on the preceding day. And when Cinderella appeared at the festival in this dress, everyone was astonished at her beauty. The king's son had waited until she came oh my God. and instantly took her by the hand and danced with no one but her. When others came and invited her, he said. She is my partner. When evening came, she wished to leave, and the king's son followed her and wanted to see into which house she went. This is, uh, fucking stalking. Oh, no, no, no. This is what set up all the, the things that make men go, this is okay. This is you could be like that. Crazy it's cool. predatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This it, behavior is not in check. That's no. a prince. He's like, that's what princes do. Yeah, you want to be a prince, right? I just kind of follow you the women You take I what like. you want, son! <laughs> I just follow the subjects I like, and then I... It's like The Sims, the except s- except it's the 15th century, and I actually have to watch them go into their house. My subjects turn down the pebble pebble street, and my hunger rises. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's what it feels like. It's just eating them, apparently. Uh, well, we haven't finished the story. Oh, that's uh, true. Um, but she sprang away from him and into the garden behind the house. She's trying to escape him. It's clear. Therein stood a beautiful tall tree on which hung the most magnificent pears. <laughs> she clambered so nimbly between the branches like a squirrel, like a feral squirrel, that the king's son did not know where she had, was gone. <laughs> he waited until her father came and Again? said to him, what'd she say to him? Sorry, I'm burping. It's okay. <laughs> what, what voice is I even doing? A really, um, really scary. The Bat- stranger Batman. maiden. The Bat- Batman creepy. Oh, oh is, it, is this the king or is this the prince? Uh, she. He waited until her father came. It's oh, prince. okay. It's the prince. The stranger maiden has escaped from me, and I believe she has climbed up the pear tree. The previous narration contradicted that. I know. That's the thing I was getting tripped up about. I thought it was... Stupid. Yeah. yeah. The father thought. Yeah. Okay, now I got... So I'm... So this is the father. Can it be Cinderella? No, <laughs> no that's my rumble still sweet voice. You, you, you were doing the, the father. Yeah, I was, it's like, can it be Cinderella? It's like... Yeah. I, the, it's all jacked up, like the way that the oh, you, you came up. Before. Do sound effect of him sipping his coffee. Hang on, hang on. Uh, can it be Cinderella? And he had an axe brought and cut the tree down, <laughs> but no one was on it. This dad's got unchecked rage issues. <laughs> 
I don't know, but let's destroy it. He's just he's just so he's like he has no control over his life. So he's just like, I'm going to come over here and cut down this thing because I want to take my rage out on something. He probably hates his wife because everyone hates he he made his decisions and now no longer has control over his life. Yeah, so he's he's going out into the garage and cutting yeah. down the tree. He's sharpening his axe in the garage, waiting. He's just like, I cannot wait for the day. <laughs> Just, just waiting for the moment to snap and let all his rage out, and he does, and he just un- unleashes like, it on the tree. I feel like Cinderella could easily be tweaked into a stalker horror film. It feels like it's already there with the uh, prince constantly taking a hold of her as property, and then her going, "I need to leave. I really just wanted to wear a pretty dress to a party. <laughs> I didn't I just want to go to a party I just, to escape I my know, horrible life." If you notice, she does not mention at all. Oh, I want to marry the prince and stuff. She's she just has like, no interest. No, none. Eh? She just wants to go to a party, man. She just wanted to go to a party. She, she danced just, with a random guy. He took ownership. Yeah, and now she's just like, I got to go. I got to go. She's always trying to escape. Yeah. She's, I, I, have to, I have to leave. I have to leave. I don't know where my address is. I don't know where I live. I got to go. And when they got into the kitchen, Cinderella lay there amongst the ashes, oh as usual. Thank you for putting that in. <laughs> for she had jumped down. On as the, usual. Oh, my God. They're going to explain how she escaped during escape. She had jumped down. No, wait, wait, wait. On the other side of the tree. Q Ocean's Eleven recut to the scene. Yeah, Showing how it actually went down. There's no way it went down that way. (laughs) Oh, here's what happened. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, play some jazz Uh, music. Some upbeat jazz music. She had jumped down Mm -hmm. on the other side of the tree and had taken the beautiful dress to that bird on the little hazel tree and put on her gray gown. On the third day... When the parents and sisters had gone away, Cinderella went once more to her mother's oh grave and said to the little tree, I have the power! And now the bird threw down <laughs> to her dre- a dress, which was more splendid and magnificent than she had yet had, and the slippers were golden. Seriously, she's just getting upgraded throughout the story. And it's, it's, I think it's to empower her to be like, go forth and find someone worthy. And she keeps finding the schmuck who keeps going like, you're mine. Oh god, he's here at this party too. Uh, don't, don't look at him. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> and when she went to the festival of the dress, no one knew how to speak. She does the glance. She's like, oh no, I looked into him. I looked into him. Oh shit, I made eye contact. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, hey, how's it going? Oh, you having a good time? Uh, no. She's oh, she... my partner. She's talking to me. She wants me. <laughs> the king's son danced with her only, and if anyone invited her to dance, he said, She's my partner. When evening came, Cinderella wished to leave, <laughs> and the king's son was anxious to go with her. But she escaped from she him did not so quickly that he him. could not follow her. <laughs> she did not invite him. <laughs> the king's son had, however, used a stratagem. Oh my! A stratagem? Uh oh! Stratagem? <laughs> uh oh! He's prepared. <laughs> He's been planning shit, and had caused the whole staircase to be smeared with pitch. What? And there she, when she had ran down, what? had the maiden's left slipper remained sticking. Oh my god! The king's son picked it up and smelled <laughs> the fear, <laughs> and it was small and dainty, and it, he felt power because of the size ratio and all golden. Next morning, he went with it to the father and said to him, "No one shall be my wife, but she whose foot." This golden slipper fits. Why is he talking to this dad? Who's, he that, doesn't know who her father that's is. That's the owner. Uh, and he just assumes that he sees any man but and any man owns her. But he doesn't know. Yeah, no. it's <laughs> the nearest guy. And it's always someone different. It's Who's your daughter? Story. Why is she? I don't have a daughter. I'm ready to buy. I, I don't have a daughter. Are you holding? What? No, I don't. I, I, I'm i single. I've been single my whole... Do you have any ladies that I could? Only the ones date? that I've bought, purchased, used, and abandoned. Oh, Okay, I'm going to go over here, away. I don't need a return policy. I'm never giving them up. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, then were the two sisters this, glad. This episode has For has they gone very had long. pretty feet. Oh, now we're getting to foot fetish territory. This oh, is a no. Tarantino. Ah! Uh, the eldest went with the shoe into her room and wanted to try it on. Oh, and her mother hurt. stood by. I know what's happening next. But she could not get her big toe into it. And then the shoe, and the shoe was too small for her. <clears throat> then her mother gave her a knife and said, <laughs> "Cut the toe off. When thou art queen, thou wilt have no more need to go on foot." 
I missed my Rumble Stilskin voice. Yes, you did, but it's okay. The maiden cut the toe off. Whoa. She did it. Yeah, I know. No, get Force ready. Force the get foot ready. into the shoe. Get ready. I know. Swallowed I know the, the pain. This part, this part is horrid. This and part. went out to the king's son. Then he took her on <laughs> his horse. Pouring blood out of the shoe. Then he took her on his his horse. There's two his back to back there. Okay. And wait, no. He took then her. he took her on his his horse as his bride and rode away with her. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Then were, however, obliged to pass the grave, and there on the hazel tree sat the two pigeons and cried. Are these the pigeons? Am, am I? Am I? Hang on. Is this the? Are these the pigeons talking? Is this? Wait a minute. I'm confused. I thought this was one of the sisters. Is it not one of the sisters? Yeah. No. He's taking the the toeless. The Tola sister. The Tola sister. And so the sister's singing to the pigeons that she's never sing t- sung to before? Okay, so I could do it. Yeah, it's... Tan! Hang on. No, Tan. no, no. All right, I, I, I read okay. ahead. Uh, it's okay. the birds. Wait a minute. This is the birds. This is the birds talking. The they birds got... now have sentience. Yep. They are... They are, Well, I mean, clearly they had sentience because they, they have a, a really good package for festival dresses. You can read this, of course. Oh, right, because it's two. It's two pigeons. All right, here right. we go. One, two, three. Turn and peep, turn and peep. There's blood within the shoe. The shoe it is too small for her. The true bride waits for you. We did not rehearse that, and I loved it. Nailed it. Then he looked at her foot and saw how the blood was streaming from it. How he did not not notice it? Hang on. How did he not question that two birds just sung to him? Oh. Oh, you're right, birds. <laughs> There is blood here. What do you mean, pigeons? All right. Quarantine the crime scene. <laughs> oh, God, CSI. Uh, he turned his horse round and took the false bride home again and said she was not the true one, that the other sister was to put the shoe on. Uh, well, now he's ordering her to... <laughs> Jesus. Then this one went into her chamber and got her toes safely into the shoe. But wait for it. But her heel was too large. Oh, God. God. <laughs> so her mother gave her a knife and said, Cut a bit off thy heel. When thou art queen, thou wilt have no more need to go on foot. Oh my God. The maiden cut a bit off her heel. Ugh. <sighs> Forced her foot. This is. What is this fucking self mutilation shit? God. The moral of the story is change yourself no matter what in order to succeed. <laughs> Remember that, ladies. This is what you need to look beautiful. You must look beautiful and conform. Conform. So okay. she cut a bit off her heel, forced her foot into the shoe, swallowed the pain, <laughs> and went out to the king's son. He took her on his horse as his bride, because all his women's faces look the same, <laughs> and rode away with her. But when they passed by the hazel tree, two pigeons sat on it. Oh, my God. And cried. One, two, three. Turn, turn and peep, turn, turn and, peep. and peep. There's blood within the shoe. The shoe it is too small for her. The true bride waits for you. Come on down. <laughs> We've got a three for one sale on dresses for festivals. All shoes are half off. Half off your foot, not the shoe. Uh, continue. He looked down at her foot and saw how the blood was running out of her shoe and how it had stained her white stocking. Then he turned his horse and took the false bride home again. This also is not the right one, he said. Hang hang on, hang on. That's me. Oh, sorry. I got Bro, I'm... bro, bro. You're stepping <coughs> on my lines. Bro. You're stepping on Come my on, lines. Come on, bro. bro. <coughs> this is also not the right one, <laughs> said he. This is so much worse, said he. Have you no other daughter? What's up? You got the next line, my friend. Oh. Oh. Have you no... Uh, do oh. it again. You, oh, the, he's the, talking the, to the dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. They do, don't... do it again. Do it again, because I want... Okay. This line is so good. <laughs> have you have you, do, have you no other daughter? Okay. No. <laughs> Said the man. <laughs> there is still a little stunted kitchen wench, which my late wife left behind. But we... She cannot possibly be your bride. The true villain appears. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Now we get it. It comes out. You're thinking all oh, the guys like no. maybe, maybe he's just. He's Do you have just... any more other daughters? 
No. Maybe he's just trapped in his decisions that he's made in his life or something, or he's just completely checked out. No, he totally knew what he was doing the entire time. The entire time. Sips out of the number one dad mug. <laughs> <laughs> number one stepdad mug. Mm. <clears throat> Okay, this got dark. Yep. This is darker than the foot cutting. The king's son said he was to send her up to him. But the mother answered, Oh no, she is much too dirty. She cannot show herself. He absolutely insisted on it. And Cinderella had to be called. She first washed her hands and face clean. This is the first time she's done it. This is the first time she's done it. Can you imagine her she pores? She first washed her hands. And, oh her my pores God. would be horrid. Ew. Dude, if she never washed her... Like, according to the no, story, no. according to the story, she's never bathed. Ever. She's the winner here. Clearly. Okay. <laughs> she washed her hands and face clean, oh, so and then went and bowed down before the king's son, who gave her the golden shoe. Then she seated herself... The blood-covered shoe. They don't mention that. Then she seated herself on a stool, drew her foot out of the heavy wooden shoe, and put it into the slipper. Which fitted like a glove. No, it fit like a shoe. That's what it is. No, 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 it's a glove. It's, it's a turn of phrase. I get it, but it's... Nope. Turn of phrase? It's a saying? Mm -mm. And when she rose up and the king's son looked at her face, he recognized the beautiful maiden who had danced with him and cried, This, that is the true bride. I never noticed her face until her shoe fit. Ever. <laughs> The stepmother and the it's two like sisters. Clark Kent, it's like Clark Kent taking off his glasses and no one recognizing him. Same thing, but with shoes. It's exactly the same. You you put on your face shoe. You took off your face shoe, and I finally revealed you. Shoe book rather than Facebook. There you go. That's it's just all the perfect. feet. It's just all feet profile. Have pictures. you seen her fit profile? No. Oh my god, her arches. <laughs> Oh, she's got corns. Ugh. Oh, you, she, uh, she looks terrible. Um, Get some step pumice stones. My God. <laughs> the stepmother and two sisters were terrified and became pale with rage and loss of blood. What? He, <laughs> he, however, took Cinderella on his horse and rode away with her as they passed by the hazel tree. And the two white doves oh cried in unison. One, two, three. Turn and peep, turn and peep. No blood is in this shoe. The shoe is not too small for her. The true bride rides with you. Hi, we need a high five on that. I am so proud of us. Oh, one more five. Oh, <laughs> Two white guys high fiving. This is there going it great. Is. There we go. Right. Third time's time charm. <laughs> And when they had cried that, the two came flying down and placed themselves on Cinderella's shoulders, one on the right and the other on the left, and remained sitting there. The That's... one on the left talked shit the whole time. That is an edit that needs to be cut. When the wedding with the king's son oh, there's had a lot to be that celebrated, to be the two false sisters came and wanted to go into favor with Cinderella and share her good fortune as they stumbled forth. When the betrothed couple went to the church, the elder was on the right side and the younger at the left. This is a lot of detail. And the pigeons pecked out one eye of each of them. Holy crap. Afterwards, as they came back, the elder was on the left and the younger at the right. And then the pigeons pecked out the other eye of each. Yep, so it's very poorly written. Hang on, hang Both on. eyes just got pecked out of both sisters. Hang on, and, we're, and we have one sentence left in this story. Mm-hmm. That, th this is how the story is ending, so continue. And thus, for their wickedness and falsehood, they were punished with blindness. Blindness. There you go. <clears throat> Words. <laughs> as long as they lived. What? The end. Can you imagine the guy who, wrote, who read this story and thought, we can make that into a movie? And they nailed it. Oh, I know. I mean, That's crazy, though. That's I know. The power of editing. <laughs> This 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 whole this story was horrific. Yeah, like exactly. Let's, let's Closing close the book on that one. But, uh, any is, that any thoughts? Our, that's thoughts? Our, I mean, we, uh, we expounded them as we read, but thoughts? Uh, the father needs to die. Oh my god, he's, it, the, he's the biggest villain of them all. Uh, second place, obviously, the stepmom. And um, yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of shocked at the the writing is terrible. 
Um, well, you know, it's probably a really poor translation because there is a he, his, his, I think. Yeah. And just poor <laughs> editing of the this particular copy. Um, oh, the, can you imagine the, per, the poor guy had to copy edit this thing before they put it at the presses? How many books? These stories are terrible so yeah. far. Like, like Cinderella is horrifying. But the fact that she kept getting upgraded dresses still stands by the fact that I think she's a medieval... Uh, whenever this was written, I forget where Grimm's fairy tales were written. She's like a medieval superhero. She just keeps getting new armor and armor. But the thing is, never in that story at all does she say, I want to marry a prince. Or, I want to... She just wants to escape. Yeah. She just so far, to get away. So far, Rumpelstiltskin and her are like, we just need to get the hell out of here! How do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> How do we escape this pain and misery? Well, I guess I'll just marry this really, really rich man. I Your guess only escape tr- is marriage, which is the exact opposite of escape. And sadly, it's probably, I think it, it for sure is still going on today. So, Ooh. oh, social commentary. There we go. Anyway, there we go. Pew, 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 pew. So I'm going to get the pafoozle list. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, no, that's air horn. Do, do. Anyway, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. My you don't neighbors. know sounds. Uh, I don't know words, and you don't know sounds. <laughs> uh, Together, we read books. All right. I think that's a yeah. horrifying place to Let end. us know what you thought of Cinderella. And our Instagrams at I am at Real Human Maz. And uh, I am at Ken Heidelman. Uh, Instagram is my best place. And uh, and uh, yeah, that, go, go check us out. Uh, I got some art and I have a comic that I, I write and draw. Uh, any place to check out this podcast where, where people go to? You I mean, can, you're already listening. You've already found it. You can so. find this podcast on your preferred platform of choice. There Hopefully it's on one that you like. Oh, oh the, that's what it should be. Uh, what is it? Like and subscribe. And, yeah, like uh, and subscribe. Like and subscribe and uh, and rate us. Yes. Let us know what you think and uh, tell everybody you know because I hope you're enjoying it Review, enough to tell people Review that. Us. Huh? Review. That's what it is. Okay. Review, Review us. You know, we're learning this on the fly here, ladies and gentlemen. We no are editing. not professional we podcasts. We not edit. Contrary to what you might think, we are not professionals at all on this podcast platform. Nope.